Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I wanted to talk about Windows 10 and how it compares to Windows 7 and 8 for stability, gaming performance and Star Citizen. Basically seeing if it's worth upgrading to Windows 10 or is it worth holding out for a little bit longer. So first off and quite briefly, I upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 8.1. Um, in the middle of 2015. It provided me better boot times and extra stability and a small increase in gaming performance for me. In terms of Star Citizen, it was a good few frames per second extra. I decided to swap over at that time uh, rather than before because my software and drivers were, had just been supported by everything um, I checked. Windows 8.1 supported everything that I needed, um, including OBS and all that sort of stuff. So I, it was a good choice for me. Today though, it's about Windows 10. So we're talking more, I suppose, about is it worth upgrading over Windows 8.1? Compatibility. Even before considering Windows 10, just make sure everything that you want to use is supported by it. Almost every major brand of motherboard, graphics card and hardware will totally be fully supported. But there are some random pieces um, that people have that might not. Some printers, capture cards, that sort of things are likely culprits. There's always something someone's got randomly from Japan that's got a really odd manufacturer um, that might not be supported. So just check that out. Some software as well might not be working properly under Windows 10 especially if you're using some older stuff. Um, there were issues with my capture software um, for example, uh, my sound scrubbing software with Windows 10 uh, which is one of the main reasons I didn't move over sooner but well, we'll talk more about this in a minute as well. Um, turning stuff off. There is a lot of stuff on Windows 10 to turn off. It sends various data to Microsoft and um, there's loads of things to change in the account control settings that you'll want to change or at least switch off. I've linked a guide in the description um, how to turn everything off and anything that's unwanted that you might not want anyway. Benchmark and Star Citizen performance. So my specs are linked in the description below but basically I've got an i7-4790K processor, a 980Ti graphics card and 16 gigs of RAM. I'm testing my rig without any overclocks at all uh, to try and make it fair because I did find that Windows 10 actually was more stable for overclocks but again we'll talk about that in a minute. So in Firestrike um, 3D Mark basically in Windows 8.1 I get a score of 14.417 and in Windows 10 I get one of 14.902. That's around a 500 improvement in score. A small increase, it's not huge but it's certainly not crap in Star Citizen it also gives me a little boost here. So I'm running in 1440p in very high graphics mode in Vandal Swarm drone map. So basically single player um, Vandal Swarm because it gives a very high frame rate normally. The tests are pretty close to be honest, but there is an improvement with Windows 10. Windows 8 gives me 51 to 83 frames with an average of around 68 frames. Windows 10 gives me 54 to 90 frames with an average of 71 frames. There is definitely a small improvement at least. But there are some definite other benefits that I've noticed too. I get better overclocking. I've noticed playing around with my overclocking settings, I get more stable overclocks with my CPU on Windows 10. That might just be for me or my setup, but it is awesome and it is really useful for me. DirectX 12 and future proofing. You're going to need Windows 10 to make full use of DirectX 12 and all of the latest tweaks and gadgets and drivers. I expect massive improvements to performance this year with DirectX 12 and Windows 10 and the hardware that's going to be coming out this year. Windows 10 is going to be almost essential for that. It's also free at the moment. You can upgrade your version of Windows 7 or 8 for free at the moment as long as it's a legitimate copy. Issues you may run into, or at least I did. Full disclosure, I had a hellish time with Windows 10 when I installed it earlier this week. I tried to turn off all the tracking and everything that I thought would slow down my computer before installing the drivers, and I wanted to install the drivers myself because I wanted to make sure they're the, the right ones. Eventually, I realized I had to let Windows Update run and install the drivers first at least. It needs to be run, for me anyway, and uh, yeah, before that I couldn't get anything to work properly. Then. OBS, my recording software, wouldn't work after I did that. Uh, I had to move on to OBS Studio. Now my sound scrubbing software isn't working properly, so I'm having to um, do stuff to my sound externally. It's all quite annoying, but I'm slowly getting through all the random issues and getting them fixed. And it's not actually that bad. It's just annoying because I don't really like change or effort. 
But that being said, Windows 10 has given me improvements. And as I fine tune my settings for Windows 10 for all the software that I use, I am more and more pleasantly surprised. If all your software and drivers are supported, I do recommend you move on to Windows 10. It will give you a performance boost in Star Citizen and games in general and help future-proof you for the year ahead. Anyway, guys, thank you for listening. I hope that helps at least in some way. I knew it was quite a short video, but my recommendation is Windows 10 is actually pretty good now uh, and worth getting definitely. My videos may take a hit to quality and audio for a couple of days while I do fine tune the settings, uh, but I hope that's okay. Please tell me what you think about Windows 10, uh, DirectX 12, or even uh, any performance boosts you found for um, Star Citizen for Windows 10, uh, tweaks and that sort of stuff as well. Chuck them all in the comments below, that would be really helpful to me, and I will see you in the verse.